If I could tell my 17 year old self, 21 year old self and 25 year old self, what would it be? Somebody asked this question. What would I say to my, basically my high school, college and post collegiate self? So I thought that was a very interesting question. One of the biggest things that we do that we incorporate into the throwing chain reaction system in our whole training program. One is the focus on recovery. I was very fortunate enough to go to UCLA and uh, was coached by the legendary throws coach Art Venegas. And he used to have uh, assistance work that was supposed to be done in the morning and it was supposed to supplement. And I was never a morning guy and I was the guy and it was really bad at not doing it. So it was sitting in front of my face and I was supposed to do all this assistance work. So it was like all these little things, you know, from bicep curls to core work to all the structural balancing stuff that now we do. And so we put a big emphasis. One of the things I would tell myself would definitely be focus on your assistance lifts, focus on your recovery, right? The balancing out your posture. You got to counter all that heavy movement and heavy work that you're doing. If you're doing squats and cleans and snatches and bench presses and stuff, you've got to make sure that you're doing your external rotator work, your hip flexibility work, your hamstring, your posterior chain work, recovery, and what we call gross posture rebalancing. We would definitely, I would always go back to myself and say, dude, you are just killing yourself. You have to work these things. Second thing I would tell myself is absolutely get your nutrition right. By the time I was a post-collegiate thrower, I had figured this out. But in high school, I was doing standard things. And what you have to understand your body's super high performance in real scientific terms your body makes you know like the highest performance formula one car look like a tinker toy we're so complex you how you need to feed your mitochondria and you're like literally going and eating fast food is going to do absolutely nothing for you sure it may taste good does that mean don't eat a hamburger or enjoy a donut or do that no you can do all that stuff but it's got to be you know 90 percent of what you're putting in your body needs to be high performance fuel third thing i would definitely tell myself is is technical knowledge. I was definitely obsessed about this, especially once I got into the later years in college. I was constantly seeking information. I went to a fantastic coach. I learned from other coaches. I learned from gold medalists. I, I was very fortunate. But if I had my system or my coaching or coaches, I know if I had the luxury of having them as a high school athlete, I would have thrown much further. So the point is you need to be a student. You have to study and understand technique. It's the only way you're going to need to get yourself to a good coach. You're going to need your coach to learn. You're going to need to learn yourself. The best success is when you get a good, intuitive, smart, athletic athlete who is learning and you have a good coach and that's the perfect marriage. I would say constantly learning those technical things earlier and understanding the fundamentals of throw. And again, that's what we created the throwing chain reaction system. The six pillars are designed to break that throw down so that you understand step-by-step step how do you train and learn those motor patterns and then put them all together with a chain reaction component, really the flow, the rhythm, the timing. So those would be my three things I would tell my young self. Hopefully this kind of helps you. Thanks so much for submitting that question. Anybody else who's got some questions, go ahead and tell us and we'll do our best to answer. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video. You have to develop your knowledge base. Of every coach I've ever met, and I like to include myself in this category, is that when you're constantly learning, I, I would definitely say I'm a better coach this year than I was last year, than 